Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. This question also comes from uh, Charles Manis, KE2ZNP, and he wants to know about the, um, the antenna known as an octopus. Now, I had one at one point. I think I gave it to somebody, and... Uh, no longer have it, but it's a very straightforward idea. First, we start with the hamstick, okay? A hamstick is a stinger. There are stingers are all the same size on all of them. Okay, they have a stinger, and you tune it. There's a little couple uh, hex nuts here where you tune this thing. It can slip in and out of the base, of the thing and the whole thing is only like eight foot seven foot six foot something like that okay and it's designed to be a mobile antenna um, and be fed uh, down here it's a quarter wave electrically but the only way that you get there is that the wire that comes up to here kind of slowly loops around here and then there's a point where there's a lot of wiring and then and this is the loading coil now that means that this is a half wave electrically but because there's a lot of loading it has very high q and so it won't cover the whole band so you tune it to whatever part of the band you want leave it there now that's a quarter wave antenna you can get these hamsticks they're identical in size made by a number of companies there really is an organization that owns the name hamstick and i'm guessing mfj has permission to use it or maybe it just sells resells their hamsticks the lower the coil like if this is 20 meters if this is 40 meters it'll have a much larger uh, loading coil on it and if it's 80 meters it has a really large loading coil on it you've got to be careful not to put this down into the point where the stinger goes into the coil because otherwise it'll get real hot and melt so if you do have to put it in that far you know take a little piece of tape on it take it out measure how much it is down in there you can always snip off a little bit off the end if you need to now that's a hamstick okay it works works very well now if you take a hamstick here's the thick part and you take another hamstick like this and you feed these right here you have one uh, quarter wavelength. This is one quarter wavelength. The overall length electrically is one half wavelength. And you have a dipole. Okay, you have a dipole. And yes, you can do that. Uh, MFJ has a thing where you can just put two of these back to back. Okay. Now, um, if you can put two of them back to back, why not make a fan dipole? So you have, here's like this, then you have another one like this. Now they're the same size physically, but electrically they're different because there's loading coils in these things. And why not put another one this way? Again, same size, and another one this way. Now this is actually a four band antenna, okay? And the one that MFJ sent me to test was 80, 40, 20, and 10. When you order it, you can specify which bands you want the, uh, the hamsticks for. Like, for example, if you do a lot of CW, you might want to drop the 80 and do a 30 or something like that, okay? So 
This is the idea of the octopus. There's nothing collinear about it. Okay, you just have, like, if this is 30 meters here, um, you've got opposites that are the same thing. So this acts as a fan dipole, even though it doesn't look like one. And I've had one. I put it up. It worked beautifully. In fact, I was surprised how well it worked. Okay, and I uh, later took it down and gave it to a guy in the local ham club who wanted his. The nice thing about the octopus is it doesn't take up very much room. And it uh, looks a little weird, uh, like a, well, not quite like an umbrella because all the lines are straight. But uh, you put it up about 15, 20 feet, and since it doesn't look like an antenna, you know, I guess you can always call it modern art or hang bird feeders, wooden bird feeders from it. Um, whatever, okay? So that is the octopus antenna. So um, if you would like to help support this channel financially, you may do so by going to decastlercom slash support. Also go to decastlercom slash giveaway to find out what this month's giveaway is all about. Uh, we do one giveaway a month. And also, uh, please subscribe, like, and comment. It's the comments that really help the YouTube algorithm to pinpoint this channel as one to share. And until we next meet, 73.